Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the differences between statements and expressions. So please pay attention to these examples. Um, where a is equal to, for example, 3. Note that this is a statement. Also, print for example, hello, Kathleen is a statement too. So these are statements. Now let's uh, declare some expressions. For example, where P equals to three uh, plus five, uh, this is an expression or where C equals to A plus B is uh, another expression. Note that in Kotlin we have statements and expressions. An expression evaluates to a single value. This is an expression because it evaluates a single value that is 8. Uh, it returns 8 as a result. And these are statements because they're not evaluated. They don't return anything. For example, the print function uh, doesn't return any value. It just prints something. Now that you know the difference between an expression and a statement, uh, you should know that in Kotlin, if is an expression, unlike Java. If in Java, is a statement and in Kotlin is expression. It means the if expression can evaluate and returns a value as a result. Now let's uh, rewrite the app that prints the larger number between A and B. We have written this app in the last videos and now let's rewrite it. So suppose that we have two numbers, A, and b and we have another variable called max of type int we can hold the larger number in the max variable so we can declare a variable called max of type int and then use and uh, use the if expression to find the larger number from the two given numbers so if a is greater than B, then uh, assign A to max as the larger number and else, for example, um, assign B to max. And finally, we can print the larger number. Okay, if I run the app, it works fine. Now if you notice, the if is underlined with a wavy line. It means, hey, if is an expression, so it can return a value. To do so, we need some changes here. As I said, if is an expression, so uh, it returns a value. It can return a value, so we can hold the result uh, in the max variable. So to lift out assignment of if, we can uh, change the code like this. As you see, the wavy line disappears because we have lifted out the assignment out of it, expression. So by doing this, we're initializing the max variable with the result of the if expression. And in the if and else bodies, we just change to A and B. 
It means if A is greater than B, then return the value inside the A variable and else return um, the value inside the B variable. Now, if I run the code, I'll get the same result. Okay, so the app works fine. Note that we can also change the code like this. As you see, uh, we're not declaring the data type of the max variable because the return type of the if expression could be inferred. So um, the if expression returns an integer value because A and B are of type integer. So the data type of the max variable uh, will be inferred to be int. If I press control, plus shift plus p here you will see that uh, the type is inferred to be integer the type of the max variable now suppose that i change the data type of the for example p variable to float and press control plus shift plus p here okay as you see uh, the data type of the max variable is inferred to be any. Any means that if the if expression returns A, so the type of the max variable will be inferred to be an int. And if the if expression returns B, the type of the max variable will be inferred to be a float. Okay, guys. And as the final note, we can use if either as expression and assigns its value to a variable or as a statement and ignoring returned value.